Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, I thought I'd do a little radio swapping in the car. Uh, I put this TRC 453 in here, I don't know, a month or so ago, I guess. Somebody did a lot of work on this radio, and I'm not real pleased with some of the work that they did. Uh, it's overmodulated. I have put so many different microphones on this radio. My last video was uh, making the Yezu mic work with it. It sounded the best that it ever has with the Yezu mic, but it's still, it's not quite right. Uh, so, I'm going to take it out. And I now have a new radio on my desk over there. So, the TRC 451 that I have in my collection needs a new home. So, I'm going to see if I can make this radio fit inside of the dash there. The microphone connector is the only issue, because this radio is much wider than what I've been using in here. So, inside the dash, there's a wall in there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to plug in my extension cable from my remote mic jack. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room to plug it in. Uh, I'm going to see if I can possibly do some cutting on that little wall that's there. Uh, you just got to make sure it's not part of any structure and that it's not holding anything. So I really want to have that in the car. It's a, just a really pretty radio and this thing works really well. So, let's get to it. Let's get this one out of here so I can put in, see if about putting in this other one. Alright, I'm going to go grab some tools and have at it. Now, let me get the microphone out of the way and start taking all these screws out. It'd be nice if I had a quick disconnect for the steering wheel get it out of the way. Since adding that plate in there, now I have a whole mess of screws to take out to get this apart. It's going to end up being all the screw holes all around. But that's alright, because I know the way I am. And I'm sure Six months from now, there'll probably be yet another radio in here. I think all the screws are out of there, so it should pop right off. Oh, no, wait, we're not done yet. Not yet. I still have to take this off, because if I don't take this cover off, I can't fit that up and around. It gets stuck behind the steering wheel and against the dash. So unfortunately, I have to take this off. And this poor thing has been so hacked up by <laughs> the guy that I bought this car from told me that it has bad ignition systems, that the ignition systems that they put in these are not very good. He said he had to replace it. Oh, three or four times, he said. Well, <laughs> turns out what the problem was is after a while, the whole unit would just fall right out. So... The garage that he was going to told him that he needed a new switch every time this happened. Come to find out, what had happened was somebody, probably on the first switch or doing some other work in here, they broke all the locks inside of it so that the housing that the cylinder goes in couldn't lock it in anymore. And it would just, after a while, it would just fall right out. All right, let's see if we can get this pot out without any cracking noises. See that? <laughs> Don't mean to put it in your face. That's a good safe place for that. So, what I did was when I got it, he told me he needed an ignition switch when I got it because it would just fall right out. Uh, I went inside and I reworked inside of there and made new clips and now it stays together. And that's the same ignition switch five years later that the previous owner told me was no good. How about that, huh? Ah, let's get all this stuff off of here. Because we ain't gonna dry fit that big realistic in there. Don't laugh at my plug. I didn't have... A radio plug. So I made one of my own out of a Molex connector from a computer. <laughs> it works pretty good. All right, so as we see, 
the one I'm going to put in is much bigger than what was in here. And I don't even know if the dash is deep enough for this. I didn't bring my flashlight over to look inside of there. Let's get some wires out of the way so we can actually see what we're doing. My head's right in the way of the camera behind me. Did I bring myself in? Oh, you're in here. Hey! <laughs> I got company. My son Josh is surprising me. Standing right over there. I look over to see where my cell phone was and there he was. What's up, Josh? Uh, food. Food? Yeah. Oh, ah. Uh, put, it, put it away. I'm, I'm not stopping now to eat. I'll eat later. Alright. Thank you, though. No problem. Okay, I'm actually going to take this elbow and attach it to the back of the radio because that will be all the depth that we need to achieve on this. Because <laughs> if I put the radio in right now, it'll go in plenty far enough. <laughs> and then I won't have room for my connectors. Yeah, that's good enough. We don't need it tight. Just want to see how well it'll fit in there. The wire. There's a wire harness in here that just keeps popping back up. further than that. Well now. It's gonna stick out further than I'd like. What do we have in the back of the dash there? <laughs> the firewall. <laughs> yep. That is the firewall right behind there. Let's see what that does for me. <laughs> you come back here. Let's dig deeper. Drop of that. Doesn't look like it. Oh, no, there is one. Wow, it's buried up there. <laughs> Can't see it, but I know it's there. There it is. <laughs> put a cutting wheel on my Dremel tool and bring that over. There's no going back after this.
Getting little hot balls of plastic everywhere. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, catch it before it <laughs> cools off too much and becomes part of the dash again. Let's see, did I bring a pair of wire cutters out yet? I did. Give that a little snip snip. Yeah, a little snip snip up there. Well, that'll be beachy. Haha, <laughs> I can connect that to it. Oh, yeah. Let's put this back together, get it ready to go back in the dash. Get that cable in the correct orientation so that it goes down without snagging on anything. Into there. And, oh boy, we got enough room for all that cable. <laughs> well, we can push that back all the way. You know what? You know what? Might be able to. Sure. too much in there. Oh. I got that in there, which needs to be in there. Still just doing a quick dry fit here, just to see how everything's going to line up. Well, these are easy enough, I might as well just snug them up, that way I don't have to go back at them again. Right? Absolutely. Is that getting power? It's getting power. up in there dark behind there put a little slice in the edge there went a little too far <laughs> okay let's see now if it'll fit oh that's a good sign that's the oh I spoke too short I was gonna say that was the easiest this thing has ever gone back together but it's still fighting me. Okay, moment of truth. Oh, look at that. Fits right over the radio now. But we'll have sound in just a second. There we go. Just don't key up. The antenna's not on the roof right now. I have to take it off the roof to get the car in the garage. 
Whoo wee, that sticks out quite a ways still. That's all right. I can live with that. I'm okay with that. You okay with that? It's all good. That's it, it's all back together. Oh, no it's not. I keep forgetting about that piece. <laughs> Taking it off and putting it on. That's the problem, it's sitting right here. I can't see it, the airbag is in the way. All right, that's it. I guess that's, I'm gonna call it done. Like I said, it's sticking out a little further than I'd like, but it's okay. I managed to get the mic jack buried inside the dashboard. And just use my remote jack that's on the dash. Alright, I guess the only thing to do now is take it outside and try it. I think that might wait till tomorrow. It's pouring rain out there today. <laughs> 